What's up everybody, Sam Smice here. Today I wanna to show you how to make the bass and lead to come closer by Josh Baker. And before we get started today, please make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and also please go ahead and give this video a like. If you do wanna grab the Serum presets to this bass and lead, you can find them in my Patreon. Josh Baker has been making some waves lately, so that is the bass and lead. Let me go ahead and solo them so you can hear how they sound together. Now the bass, it is a Reese bass. You hear a bit of a pluck at the beginning of each note, and then you have this plucky, pretty saw wave lead sound, analog sounding, and let me go ahead and just break down the bass first. I'll take off this kickstart because I did have that side chain to the kick. Here is the bass by itself. So let's take a look at what I did in Serum. My voicing is on mono. This is my envelope one here. Didn't really adjust it. And then for oscillator A, I have this at negative two octave, just lowered that to negative two. Unison at three, detune at 0.21, and it's just the saw wave. So I left it on the saw wave in default shapes. Raised up this level a tiny bit. And then I wanted to get that pluckiness on the beginning of each note. So this is where the envelope two comes into play. And I assigned that to the filter. And for this filter, I decided to choose a low 18 filter, which is allowing a, li a little bit more brightness than like a low 24 filter. So all you do, click drag this to the cutoff. And then this is the modulation about 51%. And I adjusted this drive and resonance. And then for reef spaces, I find that adding in some EQ can help you define the sound a bit more. So I just cut out some frequencies around a thousand Hertz. This is the one I used. So there you can hear the change that that made. And then you just add on whatever you use to sidechain it. And it sounds like that. Pretty simple sound. And then let's go into the lead sound. And this one is pretty simple as well. So I've got the voicing on mono. Here is my envelope. And then I do have this saw wave up an octave plus one for that octave. Unison at four with at zero. Let's just take out the filter real quick. Go into my effects, take off the effects so we can hear what this sounds like. I do have this bright white noise on. That's what that sounds like with the bright white noise. Now, what I noticed in the synth in the track is that some of the notes were brighter. They sounded like I could hear more brightness out of them. And what that tells me is that there's something going on with the velocity trigger. So the velocity is gonna be assigned to something and I decide to assign it to the filter. Now that tells me also that I need to adjust the velocity of the MIDI notes. So notice in here, I have some of these MIDI notes have lower velocities. You can see the velocities of my MIDI notes and then some of them are higher velocities. And I'm just doing this to, to match whatever it sounds like it is being played in the track. So you can see here where the higher velocities are. And then I want, so then I go into Serum and my envelope two here, you can see I shape this envelope two like this. And then I just add on my filter. So envelope two, just take this, assign it to your cutoff like that, adjust the resonance, and then I turn it on for A and the noise. And you can hear that filter opening up as we get to these, these louder notes. Like that. So that is how I did that to make each note a bit different and just to match how it was in the track because that's I, I think it was maybe something like that in the track then you just add on your effects so that i added on this eq 
a bit of compression because as you open up that filter, you're getting more brightness, you're gonna get more loudness out of it. So I, I wanted to add in a compressor. I've been trying not to add in just a compressor in the effects too often because sometimes you might adjust the preset or something, make things louder and stuff, and then, and then this thing is actually just clamping down too much. So this is a light compressor. You can see I'm just adding in a bit of gain reduction in this using this filter. And then from there, we have the ping pong delay, eighth note ping pong delay. And then I just use the hall reverb. And let's listen to them one more time together. 